This next lens is a little bit different. So just so you can see the old one, I already put it away. I don't know where it is. But this one is biconcave, caved in on each side. Biconcave. All right. So now I'm going to put this one in here, and let me fade out some of this light. Is that okay? Yeah, it looks good. Now again, there's a faint reflection out the front, which I'm going to use to align this. You probably can't see it in the video, but I can. It should be too far. Right there. Maybe you can see it on the laser ray box. I can see there's that, that helps a little bit. So now, again, you can imagine... Here's the midpoint of this material, and then let's kind of average it here. This time I'm going to try to color code it. We'll go black on the way in, and red will be the virtual, or dotted, okay? So now, let me take, uh, oh, I forgot to draw the fix that up again, sorry. So let me get some points out here so I can actually draw the lines. There we go. Alright, so we know this line right here is the optic axis. Or sorry, that's not the optic axis, that's the lens. The optic axis is this right here. All right, and so then this one coming across this way. This one's coming out this way. Etc. Etc. Just hang with me. Normally I wouldn't go so fast, but you made way too many videos, you were too. So this was the light ray that was actually passing through. And notice, it looks as if they would meet up over here. as if they would meet up back here. See that? So let's do one of these. Okay. Now notice, there's no actual light rays going here. Now I can move this out of the way. But the idea is they're meeting up. If we could project this all the way through. Right about here. Now they don't actually meet here, right? but it's as if they had come from there. And this distance is about, doesn't have to be exact, I'm going to say about 37 centimeters from the middle of the lens. Let's call that good.